Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. To all the new subscribers, thank you guys so much for supporting the content. We have reached a milestone. We have 600 or so subs, so that's really, really good. That's just a testament of you guys watching and sharing and liking the video. So please continue to do that. Share it with friends, family, your grandma, tell your auntie, tell everybody in your family to watch somewhat unbiased. And we cover tech cars and somewhere in between <laughs> um to be honest i just kind of cover things that matter to me um and these are the issues that you know obviously affect me in my daily life you know so i tried to cover you know those things as well as new tech that are coming out um i'm all about that i like new tech and everything and um my next video after this one's probably going to be just me covering the accessories for the Steam Deck, so tune in for that video. Um, and then I will have my impression of the uh, Steam Deck after further testing. Um, that should be available um, this week as well, too. So maybe between Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever I decide to make that video, I will make that video for sure, though. But anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I'm getting a little bit... Uh, sidetracked we're talking about dealers getting fined an amazing fee for deceptive pricing which i love it i hope that um you know this sense this sets a precedent that if dealers want to keep with this you know deceptive pricing that there is going to be punishment from this date so anyway let's go ahead and cover this this is from car buzz i did just kind of like skim through the um the article a little bit but um We'll read it together. All right, so here we go. Kia dealer smacked with big fine for deceptive pricing. Because my thing is like, I understand that if you want to make profit, just be honest with it. There's certain dealership that are honest on their website and they'll tell you straight up like, hey, this is how much we're charging for the car. They'll even have like the, um, the MSRP of the car and then on the bottom of it, how much they're charging, whether it'll be like 5000 3000 or whatever it is. Um, I kind of like that. But most dealerships, they don't tell you that. They just list a car at MSRP. They'll advertise it at cars.com for MSRP because they want you to contact them. And then once you contact them, then you will know the true price of the car. To me, that is very scummy. Just be completely honest regardless of where you're advertising your car. If you're a piece of shit dealership, then, you know, be a piece of shit and just be honest. At least do that. But then again, nobody would want to do business with you if you're honest. But I would because you're straight up telling me exactly where you stand. And I can appreciate that when somebody's being completely honest, unlike some of these dealerships that are not being um, honest and they're putting these prices and the only way you can get the actual price is by contacting them so therefore you're just wasting more time when you can just find out exactly how much it is if they put it in their website you can just move on to a different you know dealership and then you can just eliminate the ones that you don't want to but anyway <clears throat> apologize i'm going off on a little tangent here let's go ahead and read this lovely article a few years ago a car buying Buying a car at MSRP was viewed as a bad deal. <laughs> yeah, it was. Now we <laughs> we wish we can get it at MSRP. <sighs> Sucks. Nobody felt that they should be paying full price for any vehicle. Even more desirable models, but times have changed. Many cars are sold at markup, and those with a price tag even close to MSRP are viewed as a steal. It sure is, man. If I can get an Ionic 5... For about two to three thousand dollars, you know, over, I'll take that all day. I just don't want to pay like a crazy amount of money for it. More problems come when dealers try to confuse process with undisclosed fees and add ons. And yes, they will do that. So make sure you are very careful when you're reading that, um, that agreement. Go, you know, list by list and see everything that's broken down seeing how much is the tax and then how much is the add-ons that they're you know charging you for and if they're doing msrp just make sure you check everything because they will try to sneak in some fees there and try to get you so just be careful out there all right as it turns out the law frowns on such practices one maryland kia dealers found found out the hard way 
the judge ruled that Kuhn's Kia in Owings Mills, Maryland, must refund fees and shipping charges it levied on customers above and beyond the advertised price, uh, purchase price of the vehicles through the dealer gets off without having to admit guilt. So if they compensate everybody that they wronged, they don't have to admit that they fucked up. <sighs> Whatever. Ooh, the dealer gets off without having to admit guilt. The financial implication of the judgment will likely sting. Yes, and it's a significant amount. And um, I love it. I love it. Beyond the refunds, which the state estimate could easily surpass $1 million. Yes! You got to hit them in the pockets. That's how they learn, man. Hit them in the pockets. If you hit anybody in the pockets, they feel that. That will sting. Kunz must reimburse the Maryland Consumer Protection Division up to 200000 So on top of the $1 million that they're paying out to the customers that they ripped off, they also have to um, pay the division that investigated them for $200,000. Jeez, I wish this could happen out here in California. That would be nice. That would set a nice precedent. The state will waive half of the charge if Kunz can stay out of trouble for a full year. Nah, I think they should pay that full price and some. Kuhn's defense in the matter centered on difference between sticker price and sales price. The dealer's spokeswoman, Beth Carr, told Automotive News that MSRP's well-understood term, its own definition, was um, was clearly disclosed. Okay. Here we go. I know very little about the automotive industry. Very little. There are people that are way smarter than me on this kind of subject. But this is one thing that I understand. The MSRP, the manufacturer suggested price, is the price that the manufacturer suggests the dealership sell the car for. Now, in the United States, each dealership is independent and they're franchised. Once the cars are shipped to those dealerships, they can charge whatever they want. Okay? That's understandable. I get that. You can charge whatever you want. But the problem is when you're advertising for MSRP on your website or anywhere else, cars.com, Auto Trader, you know what I'm saying? KBB, Edmonds. All these places, when you're advertising for MSRP, but then when you go to the dealership, they give you a completely different price. That's where the problem lies, lady. That's where the problem is. You know? We get it. We get that you can charge whatever you want, but you cannot give me this bullshit right here. MSRP is well understood term of its own definition was clearly disclosed. Kuhn's Kia fully disclosed the pricing properly on the window of the vehicle, as well as all purchase documents. Yeah, but that's after you told you brought me into your dealership, and then you're telling me I gotta pay this separate price, the sale price of the vehicle. Why didn't you advertise the sale price of said vehicle on your website, as well as all those places that I just mentioned? That's where the problem lies. That's where <laughs> you're in a sticky situation. Anyways, man. Moving on. Some customers saw one number online, fax, like I just stated, or in an ad on different number on the car when they went to the dealership. It's very deceptive, but they all do this. They're not the only ones. All dealerships across the United States are doing the same shit. It's only a matter of time. Hopefully, you know, it gets passed down over here. That'd be nice. Carr said the dealer agreed to settlement to avoid cost disruptions of litigations because it requires us to make clear in our advertising that MSRP is not the sales price. No shit. Just put it on your website. Tell us how much you're selling it for. If you're selling for 5000 over, put it on your website. Selling for 8000 over, put it on your website. Be very clear on what the vehicle or the cost of the vehicle is 
So then when the customer walks into the dealership trying to buy said vehicle, they're not surprised with the price because it's going to be the same shit that's on the site. It's going to be the same thing as the dealership. No deceptive practice because you were honest. No problem. They know exactly what the car is, and that's what they're getting it for. Now, if the customer would like to negotiate for a better pricing, then that could be done at the dealership. But the pricing of both the ad as well as the price of the vehicle at the dealership have to be the same. But anyway, I feel like I am beating a dead horse, keep repeating the same thing. Moving on. She noted that Kuhn doesn't see any issue with the practice and feels it has no impact on its cus- and its on its customers, meaning the dealer will continue with its wacky pricing practices, but will be more transparent about them going forward. We don't know which vehicle saw the most issues, but we recently saw markup and extra charges on popular SUVs like Kia, Telluride, legal challenges aside, the car buying process has become so complicated and risky. As the new vehicle inventory shortages continue, dealers sometimes mark up pricing to compensate for fewer vehicles sold, but it's not always clear to buyers on how the costs stack up. Some dealers choose to be transparent and clearly label add-on costs, but some wrap up the upcharges, convoluted accessories, or warranty packages that make it hard to figure out where your money's going. And you know what? They do that, but you know, I'm okay with it. Classic example, when I was buying my Type R, you know, most dealership wanted, like, you know, set amount of money, whatever. Um, other than that, like, I had to wait and just deal with out of state. And it was just a hassle of flying in a different state and then driving back. It's just a whole ordeal or just having the car shipped to here. It was just a headache. And I just decided to just pay overpriced accessories and just buy the car. Just be done with it. And I'm happy. Um, I didn't have buyer's remorse. Usually when I get ripped off or I feel like the deal wasn't good enough, then I have buyer's remorse and I can't enjoy the car. And eventually I just end up selling it because I just have a disdain for that said vehicle. But anyway, I appreciate you guys, um, as always, just watching my videos and uh, liking so we can grow. And I really appreciate that so much. Thank you very, very much. And... Um, yeah, man, let's keep on going. Road to a thousand this year. That's the goal. I'm going to try it. All right. And um, as always, have a great day. Have a blessed day.